Thank you for visiting Color Veil. Today I'd like to show you how to use our Summer in Sand template. This is a really great project to use and we have a few templates depending upon the season, but this one is great for beach shots. I really love it when you pull in a beach shot with some uh, water to bring in the blues. This is a very neutral template so that you could use just about any type of summer shot, but beach um, photos are really great. So we have this a beautiful photo um, by Ashley, and what I have open is two images, the template image as well as the photo that I'm gonna overlay. So we're gonna grab it and drag it and pull it to the center of the image. You could also go to File and Place to find the image you wanna put on here. So once you do that, you have two photograph or two layers. You'll have your background layer and the layer that you just added. Um, I have an extra one here because I've already completed the task, but we are going to start it again. So once you have the photo in place, the first thing I like to do before resizing it is to bring the uh, opacity down to about 50%. That way you can see the bottom as well as the photograph, and this will help you size it appropriately. Now that I'm ready to size, I will go to Edit, Free Transform, hold down my Shift key on my keyboard. Please make sure you hold down your Shift key to retain the proportions. And I'm gonna drag it so that it fits. You don't have to fit it perfectly in here because you may uh, want to just slowly fade out the side. So I'm gonna actually have it larger than the circle. We also don't worry about the top neck of the bottle because this is going to be erased anyway. So I'm just gonna pull it a few more times to see exactly where I want it. And I do want the um, little guy's board to be showing above the sand in the bottle. So I'm just positioning and shrinking down the image until I'm pretty happy with uh, how it sits. We're going to pull him down. Once I'm happy with that, I can hit the check mark on my keyboard and it's going to place the image. Once I'm done there, I turn up the opacity again. You do not need the opacity of your image all the way at 100% because you are looking through a bottle, so it shouldn't um, be completely at 100, but put it at whatever you feel. Now you're going to come down and hit the small little uh, camera looking icon and this is going to make a layer mask. Get a paintbrush and black to hide it. What you do is have a fairly large brush. If, as you can see, it's not very small and the reason for this is, is brushes have a feather weight and when they feather, they slowly erase some of the image with inside. This will give you a great amount of blending. It is important to pay attention, zoom in a little, and pay attention to the edges. You do not want a small portion of your photo showing in the lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I get this really clean, and I'm gonna come over to the top. And as you can see, right in this area, there is still some image. I'm just coming up with a smaller brush and cleaning that up. And definitely we have a line from where our overlay photograph is and where the actual image is. Get a big paintbrush, a large one, zoom out, and again, just slightly fade that in. And it will give you a nice transition. You can go one more time. I do like to take it a, a little bit off the edge of the bottle. I want it to appear, sorry about that, I want it to appear as though it is um, fading around the edging. If you, some people will use these templates and they'll cut out the picture just perfectly to fit. I like to use this feathering with the layer mask because it allows the bottle to retain its curve. These glares on the bottle are what shows a dimension to the bottle. And if you just place your photo ever so perfectly and cut it out as a circle, you're, you're not going to get um, a more realistic look. So what I'm doing is working on a layer mask and using a paintbrush that's black, and that's all you have to do. If you're going to save this photo, flatten it, and put it out on Facebook, I would suggest you use our Facebook Enhancing Free 
action. It'll make this look beautiful. But I definitely ask that you watermark this image somewhere and also give us credit for it. Do not save this with, without resizing. If you're going to place it onto Facebook, it should be about 900 pixels wide. And again, if you could give us credit for it, I would certainly appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a great day.